Hey guys, I hope that you all are doing very well. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs for phase one of RBI, SEB, NABARD, and other banking examinations. Oh, uh, guys, this reminds me that many students are asking me that are these current affairs that I am telling you in morning tales relevant for SBI PO as well? So here I would like to clarify that yes, these current affairs are relevant for SBI PO as well because you need to understand this thing that current affairs are same, but the kind of question that is asked in examination is different uh, uh, in accordance with the examination. So obviously, if you are seeing the current affairs in morning days, th these are going to help you in your SBI PO and other PO level examinations. So I hope that your doubt is clear now and let's begin the session for today. But those who are coming for the first time can subscribe this channel and hit this bell notification so that you get the instant updates about our channel. Also, you can join this telegram group where we share quizzes as well as we resolve the queries of students. Link is in description. So here comes our first question. Which state has launched the Vatsalya Yojana and Samad Yojana for orphan and destitute children during the Child Rights Week 2020? So this Child Rights Week was observed from November 14 to 20. 14, November 14 is Children's Day. So from 14 to 20, this Child Rights Week was observed by Rajasthan government. Remember this thing, this is not observed na nationwide. This was specifically uh, by the Rajasthan government and Rajasthan government during this celebration of this week launched these two schemes. Now guys, details are not required to be remembered by you guys for phase one point of view. You just have to remember the state, the name of the schemes and the purpose that is to help orphan and destitute children. Also, you need to remember that this Child Rights Week is observed by Rajasthan uh, state in 2020 and the dates are here. Apart from this, uh, in the state budget of 2020 to 2021, which was announced quite early, so this state announced that it is going to set up a, Nehru, a Nehru Child Protection Fund. So I'll write it for you guys so that if you have missed the word, you can understand it. Nehru Child Protection Fund. Now from the name, the purpose is very clear. Uh, that is, this, the amount in this fund is going to be used for child welfare. So remember this thing that it is the Rajasthan government that has announced to set up this fund in its state budget for 2020 to 2021. So that's all for this question. I hope I'm clear. If In case you have any kind of query, you can ask it in the comment section below or on the Telegram channel. So here comes our second question. Recently, Coastal Security Police has developed the Kadalu app for fishermen of Dash city. So which city is it? Obviously, uh, this name is quite synonymous to South Indian language. Therefore, you would be thinking that it is some South Indian state. If you are thinking that, then you are obviously right. So it is a South Indian state. Now the question is about the city. So guys, do you know which city is it? The right answer is which is in Karnataka. So in order to help the fishing community of UTP city, the Coastal Security Police has developed this Kadalu app. Now what is the uh, function of this app? This app will help provide the weather condition, weather information to fishing fishermen as well as it will provide information about the availability of fishes, uh, fishes at different points of sea at different points of time. So these are the two benefits for fishing community. What is the benefit for this uh, coastal security police? This app will also help the fishermen register uh, information about their sea ventures that when are they going into sea for catching fishes. This will help the police in order to keep a track of the number of boats that are there in sea at a particular point of time. So these are the three functions that are being targeted through this. App. I hope that you can remember it well, but in case you forget, then you need not to fo uh, need not to worry about it because uh, this is the phase one examination and MCQs are there, so you have to remember these keywords only: security, secu uh, coastal security police, Kadalu fishermen, and Udipi city, which is in Karnataka. 
so these are the keywords that you need to remember from the phase one point of view and explanation in case if you forget then it is not very uh, cumbersome thing next question who has been appointed as a new administrator of lakshmi vilas bank so first of all lakshmi vilas bank is suffering from quite a tricky situation its financial position is very risky and it has uh, it is facing the liquidity crunch and that is why rbi has superseded its board and appointed a new administrator so who is that person the right answer is tn manoharan guys he is also a chairperson he is also the head of a very important committee of rbi and i am leaving this question to you that you have to tell me that which committee is it and that tn manoharan is the chief of which committee of rbi you have to tell me in the comment section below for now let's come back to lakshmi vilas bank so lakshmi vilas bank is suffering from cash crunch or liquidity crunch and that is why rbi has proposed its merger with dbs bank dbs is a uh, development bank of singapore so develop so the indian branch of dbs bank uh, rbi has proposed lakshmi vilas bank's merger with this indian branch of dbs bank but it is just in the proposal stage why because it requires central government's approval for the merger so remember this thing that it is still in the stage of proposal this merger has not been done for now the thing that is for sure is pn manoharan that he has been appointed as a new administrator apart from this moratorium has also been imposed on rbi uh, on lakshmi vilas bank and the depositors can withdraw 25000 rupees only at this present time from ldd from lakshmi vilas bank so that's all for this question i hope that you can remember it well but now my question is that where is this bank located where are the headquarters and what is the tagline of this bank you have to tell me in the comment section so this is a question of gdp forecast and whenever i cover gdp forecast i always say remember the latest one so a new gdp forecast has been given by goldman sachs and why have i taken this the reason you will get to know after 2 seconds so let's first discuss the answer of this question what is the new gdp growth rate for fy21 forecasted by goldman sachs so the right answer is minus 10.3 earlier this organization has forecasted a minus 14.8% gdp forecast but now it has raised it to minus 10.3 so this is a positive thing that uh, this organization has upward or it has increased the gdp growth rate for india but still it is in the minus uh, it is in the contraction phase apart from this the fy22 forecast is 13% Now this thirteen percent is the highest that any forecasting agency has given. So thirteen percent FY twenty two GDP growth rate given by Goldman Sachs. So that's all for this question. Let's move on to the next question. Which bank? Which bank has launched Move Bank Bakho campaign to increase the awareness on cyber frauds and preventing them? So guys, this is. important question because this is about the bank that has launched an awareness campaign so move on bakho is shut your mouth shut your mouth as in to you need not to reveal about your cvv or any kind of information like otp mobile number so you have to be cautious enough when you can you get any kind of fraud calls because nowadays cyber security cyber attacks have increased and you have to be really vigilant and you have to be really cautious in saving your hard earned money now which bank has launched it it is hdfc bank remember this thing this, these kinds of intriguing and interesting questions can be asked in the examination so move on rakho is hdfc bank's campaign for awareness on cyber fraud so these are the three keywords that you have to remember Who has 
has been appointed as the brand ambassador of Equitas Small Finance Bank. So it's a very simple question of an appointment, but important as well because it is about a bank. So it's a small finance bank and. Smriti Mandhana, who is a very famous cricketer, is the brand ambassador of Equitas Small Finance Bank. Guys, do you know who is the captain of Indian women cricket team? Majority of you would know the answer, but those who don't know, I would like them to comment in the comment section that who is the captain of Indian women's cricket team. Next question. Which bank has launched EBA, a unique saving account for women of all kinds of occupations and non-resident women. So basically the CEVA saving account has been opened for women only. And which bank has launched this EVA saving bank account? So the right answer is, again, Equitas Small Finance Bank. Now, a very minor fact that you can remember is that this uh, saving banks will harbor 7% interest rate. So that's I guess the common interest rate that these kind of small finance bank banks provide on the saving accounts. So that's a minor fact but apart from this fact, what are the keywords here? Equita small finance bank, EVA saving account for women. So these are the keywords from which you can easily remember the entire news. Who has been appointed as the chairperson of Reserve Bank Innovation Hub? So this Reserve Bank Innovation Hub has been established recently or I can say it was very much in the news yesterday only. So Reserve Bank has announced the chairperson of this Innovation Hub and who is that person? It is Chris, uh, Krish Gopal Krishnan who is also the founder, co-founder of Infosys. Remember this thing, he is the Infosys. Apart from this, he is the present chief mentor of Startup Village. Startup Village is a, a non-profit incubator, business incubator hub in Kerala. So he is the chief mentor of that as well. So now we have discussed everything about Krish Gopal Krishnan. Now we should also know about this new hub that has been announced by RBI. So what is the purpose of this hub? Innovation signifies technology. And since it is done by RBI, it has been opened by RBI, so we can easily uh, easily remember this thing that is it is about financial inclusion. So what is the purpose of this hub? To promote financial inclusion through technology. So if you remember these words, you can easily remember the purpose of this hub. So there are other things as well that we need to remember about this hub and that th uh, and those things have been put in the next slide. So let's move on to the next slide to understand more about this hub. So this Reserve Bank Innovation Hub, it aims to promote advancement in financial sector using technology and this also includes financial inclusion. It will be guided and managed by a governing council. And that governing council will be led by the chairperson who is Krish Gopal Krishnan. It will also have a CEO that has not been appointed yet. It will be appointed and whenever the CEO will be appointed, I will tell you in the morning day session itself. Apart from this, the other fact about this hub is that it will collaborate with other organizations for development of prototypes related to financial innovation. So basically, uh, this hub will uh, collaborate with other organizations in order to develop new kinds of product for in, uh, innovation in financial sector. That's all for this uh, innovation hub. You have to remember this much only for the phase one well point of view. Next questions. Who has been appointed as the MD and CEO of HDFC Mutual Fund? The right answer is Navneet Mulot. So he is the MD and CEO of HDFC Mutual Fund. Who has won Linz Open Women's Tennis Tournament in Linz, Australia? So this 
Lens Open has been recently concluded and it has been won by Arya Sabalenka. So she is from Belarus. So she has won this uh, Lens Open. Now what is so peculiar about this Lens Open and about this player? The thing is that with this, uh, with the victory at this uh, Lens Open, this player has entered in the top 10 ranking of WTA. So she is at present at the 10th rank, which used to be the rank of Serena Williams. So she has pushed her off and she has now ranked at 10th. And who is at the first rank? It's Ashley Barty. So that's all for this session. I hope that you have really liked this session. And if you have, then do give, a, give us a thumbs up. And thank you for watching this session.